Howdy everyone, it's your buddy BP. I hope you are all enjoying the Odyssey and Smite and Rise of Iron and Destiny. But I'm here today to do something a little different. Now, those of you who watch my channel just for Destiny content may not have ever heard of Paladins, but those of you who play Smite may have. To summarize it for the uninitiated, Paladins is High Res's newest game, and it's basically a free-to-play version of Overwatch. Seriously, if you've ever played Overwatch, then you can pretty much just pick up Paladins with little practice. Paladins has been getting a lot of flack from the gaming community for its striking similarities to Overwatch in terms of game mechanics and how very similar many of the uh, different characters are to the ones in Overwatch. But there are some differences that separate Paladins from Overwatch, and many of them are, in my opinion, um, at least changes that make the game better. Now, before I begin, I should mention that the game is still in open beta, so it does lack some polish. But that's alright because it's still technically a work in progress, so apart from that, there's a lot to love here, especially if you're a fan of those hero-type shooter games like Overwatch or Team Fortress 2. One difference comes from the card system, which allows players to customize their different champions and how they perform in battle. A few of these cards are available to you right from the start, but you can get more by unlocking them with gold, which you earn through playing the game, or by opening radiant chests that you earn, again, through just leveling up, much like how you do in Overwatch. Another thing that separates Paladins from Overwatch is, and I like this, uh, is that there no more than one player may play a certain type of champion, and when you choose a champion, you're committed to playing it till the end of the match. One of the things that drove me nuts about Overwatch was dealing with the uh, teams that would largely consist of Bastions or McCrees and stuff like that. But in Paladins, that's never an issue. And I think that's something that makes the game a little bit more balanced and uh, much less of a heartache to deal with. The biggest difference, however, and you can't deny this gives Paladins an upper hand over Overwatch, uh, is that it's free to play. You can download it right now over Steam and start playing. No money required. I thought Overwatch was a fun game, but I didn't think it had quite enough content to merit its $40 price tag, let alone the $60 for the Special Edition, or whatever they called it. Paladins will charge you nothing, however, so if you don't like the game, you don't have to worry about being out of your hard-earned money. Like Smite, however, not all of the characters are playable from the start, but you can earn them by unlocking them using gold, which, again, you get through playing the game. You can, however, Purchase the Founders Pack, which will unlock all of the characters and future characters Hi-Rez plans to release. It normally goes for $20, which is still more affordable than Overwatch, but until the end of September, you can get it for just under $13.50. It also comes with 20 Radiant Chests, which I plan on opening on a video for the channel very soon, uh, a skin for Fernando that makes him look like Ares from Smite, an Ares skin for Smite that makes him look like Fernando from Paladins, yes, it's crazy, I know, and the Infernal Warhorse mount. Oh, and that reminds me, there's another thing about Paladins that makes it different from Overwatch. The mounts. You see, whenever you exit your team's respawn point, you do so on horseback, which allows you to quickly travel to your desired destination. It's a little strange and it can look goofy depending on which character you're playing as, but I didn't mind it too much. I like to talk more about Paladins, but I'm itching to get back into the game, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam page for Paladins in case you're interested in learning more about the game. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it, and I hope the game can manage to shake all this grief it's getting from the gaming community about it being an Overwatch clone. I admit there are a lot of similarities. But I think there's plenty here to separate it from Overwatch, and let's face it, you can't beat free, so don't be afraid to try it out. Have you tried Paladins yet? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Also, don't forget to spank that like button if you enjoyed the video. Your support means a lot to me. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.